Patiala, the historic city as it stands today, was founded in 1763 around Khila Mubarak and has been sprawling beyond. Locally known as the city of rivers, Patiala had an efficient system of canals interwoven to address the water needs of the city. The two main rivers, Badi Nadi and Choti Nadi, were once the lifeline of the farmers in the region. They are now the rivers of sorrow, owing to unprecedented urban growth, industrial pollution, encroachment and flooding. The rivers and the irrigation canals passing through the city are subjected to direct discharge of untreated sewage and industrial effluents. 90% of the city's wastewater is discharged into the river. A project for rejuvenation of both the rivers has been formulated with three major goals. Wastewater management, hydraulic interventions, landscape and area-based development. Intercepting around 122 sewerage outfalls, discharging about 65 million litres of wastewater and close to 2.5 million litres per day of industrial effluents before it enters the river in an interception chamber, further diverting it to the proposed STP and ETP facilities, these treatment plants will treat and release clean, treated water into the Choti Nadi. 2.5 mld ETP is proposed with reuse and disposal arrangement of treated water and four STPs with treatment capacity of 75 mld are proposed at strategic locations close to the source of waste generation. Various interventions are proposed to improve the groundwater quality by facilitating percolation. A series of check dams are proposed along the Choti Nadi and a rubber dam at Badi Nadi that will store fresh rainwater. Sheesh Mahal tank and Rajendra tank will be connected to Badi Nadi to store rainwater. Natural aquifers will be recharged by treated water through soil aquifer treatment, a technology adopted from Israel. Two different hydraulic models are proposed for both the rivers. Choti Nadi will be channelized after cleaning, desilting and course correction based on hydrology and hydraulic studies. The typical section will contain a water channel with river promenade designed for a convenient pedestrian and cycling network along with a tree buffer and other public amenities. The river promenade will have various elements like a walkway, cycle track, sit-outs, toilets, water points, riverfront entries, viewing decks, CCTV, smart poles and pedestrian crossings. The promenade is designed as an active public corridor along the river adjacent to the riverfront road.
along the river adjacent to the riverfront road five different nodal developments are proposed at the major road crossings along badi nadi various landscape parks ghats and the public arena will be developed interlinked through a boating corridor Chandigarh Highway node is proposed as a riverbed park with an artificially simulated waterfall from the bridge into the river. An urban heart is proposed on the riverfront with provisions for shops and vending spaces. Sunur Bridge will be conserved and renovated along with the extension of ghats to create a public plaza. Light and sound show is proposed at the bridge inspired by famous folklore around the Badi Nadi. River Confluence Park will be developed as wetland conservation and landscape project. The park will be developed as a city level facility. The proposals shall include development of parking spaces, vendor zones, urban heart, celebration garden. The node will be designed for different flood levels as per hydraulic study. The node development will re-establish the old connection between Shish Mahal and the river through a shaded pedestrian corridor replicating the architectural grandeur of the palace. The Shish Mahal tank will be connected to Badi Nadi to store fresh rainwater. The Rajendra tank will be rejuvenated as a recreational boating area with a musical fountain and restoration of the Gandhi statue is proposed. Once restored with water, the lake area can be developed with public facilities and infrastructure. The highlighted land pockets are vacant land under government entities with the land valuation for creating investment avenues. Project benefits. Public health benefits as the sources of contamination are eradicated, creating lung space for the city. Infrastructure for economic, social and cultural development. the revival of the cultural and architectural heritage of the city let's reidentify the rivers as an asset to the city residents